Um, our search took us to France, which of course is only about 50 minutes away by plane. So from, from your perspective, you're in a big country where it takes hours to cross the country. Um, it's not so far at all. We're seeing some shots now of the school building and hearing some of the boys in the school singing a piece of music by Thomas Tallis, an English composer in the 16th century. If you love me, keep my commandments, which perhaps expresses quite well what we're trying to do. Fidelity to the magisterium, creating a strong Catholic culture, um, which will support the instruction in the school. Perhaps we could just listen for a few sure. moments there. Uh, sure. And so this small group of young men mm -hmm. makes all of that music. Yeah, it's helped by a very good acoustic, but yeah. uh, yeah. we, started, uh, we started last year with just 10. All study Latin. Okay. Now, that has been a problem because we, we've got students from 11 through to 19. Uh, and when a 17 or 18 year old turns up with no knowledge of Latin, uh, it's tough. Yeah. But they all study Latin. And to be honest, the Latin in the mass is not that difficult to, no, to pick so. up. Um, so, and they, they seem to enjoy it. They seem to enjoy Good. it. Good. And when they go home to their families, they bring that love of the liturgy back with them. And besides uh, studying Latin, uh, do they study uh, what other things, like arts? Anyway? Yeah, it's, it's a normal high school. That would be your terminology. Mm -hmm. um, they study all the sciences, physics, chemistry, and biology, the humanities, obviously French, being in France, there's a great emphasis placed on French. Their instrumental lessons are uh, taught by French teachers. Mm -hmm. But it's not just about the subjects they study. We also try and uh, inculcate in them a sense of responsibility and training for leadership. Also give these boys something very practical.